can link up in real life. That's it. We don't got to do the back and forth. We can link up in real life. That's it. Now, after the Nicki Minaj clone did all that talking, Cardi B pulled up to her hood and said, I'm around High Bridge BX, as y'all can see on the screen. Welcome back to Industries TV and tonight we still talking about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Not only that, we have a Nicki Minaj stand that we're going to talk about by the name of Malibu Mitch from the Bronx. So before we get into this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now we already know that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B has been going back and forth for the last 24 hours, including JT from the City Girls. Now if that wasn't enough beef for y'all, well we have the fans aka the stands, the Nicki stands going after Cardi B. Now before we get into that audio of the stand going at Cardi B, I'ma give y'all a glimpse on who she is and how she sound and why she's still a struggling rapper. So let's get to those clips and then we gonna come back with our commentary. Let's go. But computers, I'm with the shooters. The image don't do a shots with the Ruger. What is this jealous and be some putting numbers of what it be drilling me? If you jacking this, let me know, I'll keep going. If it's trash, I'll boil it up and throw it in the can and leave it there forever. That video look my city every time when I come through. And yeah, I'll be done flat. That's why they send in the breath for the walk through. And that's why she's a struggling rapper, because she doesn't have her own identity. Who that sound like to y'all? It sounds like a mini Nikki. And being that she wanna be Nikki and she don't have her own identity, she decided to jump in between the JT, Nikki, and Cardi B. I said that. Then I just say the tweet. I posted the tweet and I'm like, don't let nobody let y'all little fan bases, fan pages get y'all up. And guess what? She did exactly that. Let her little fan pages get her up. So there you go with it. That this is all I gotta say. This is all I ever had to say. I'm not with this internet link up in real life that's it we don't got to do the back and forth we can link up in real life that's it this will be off the internet in real life like in real life <laughs> that's right real cases in real life so in real life we could that link up no internet sh no none of that that's what i'm with that's the type of time and i'm on that's the time the type of time i've been on so what's up that's it send this to your maker like i said now after the Nicki minaj clone did all that talking cardi b pulled up to her hood and said i'm around high bridge BX, as y'all can see on the screen. So as y'all can see, Cardi B took it back to the hood. She in her hallway, she in front of the building, she chilling, and the Nicki Minaj clone did not pull up. But let's take it back to how this all started. If y'all take a look at the screen, this is what Malibu Mitch had to say. Laughing out loud, not saddle up. Imagine me being the retired gangster. I'm saying, oh no, someone talked about me. Now I have to lay down a hot 16. Or, oh no, I was mentioned today. Let me go tweet my response. Nah, now one of us got to You know I'm from the Bronx, right? Now the crazy part about this whole situation, she really believed that she's a gangster because she's from the Bronx. Just because you from the Bronx don't mean nothing. You got people that live in the Bronx that never did nothing in their life. Never did no time, never did no crime. But if y'all take a look at the screen, somebody else responded and said, but Cardi is the messy one. And that's right. You come out of nowhere going at Cardi because Cardi is beefing with Nicki and JT. And now you want to insert yourself into their beef. But then you're going to play victim later on like Cardi just came at you. Like, come on. Then she tagged Cardi and said, what's up? I'm not none of these bees. We can link off the internet. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. Let me know if Malibu Mitch, aka the Nicki Minaj clone, was wrong for attacking Cardi. Or was Cardi wrong for responding and giving her the time of the day? Because I wouldn't have gave her the time of the day, to be honest. I'm rich. I'm getting to a bag. She's still in the hood. She's still stuck in the Bronx. She want to be Nicki Minaj. I would have left her right where she stood. But you know how Cardi is. She going to stand up and handle business. That's why I got to respect her. So with that being said, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on.